So first, I'll install VS Code. So if you want to install VS Code, then you can visit code.visualstudio.com website. So here I'll click download for Windows button. If you are working on other platforms such as Mac OS or Linux, you can select this option and select Mac OS or Linux. So now I'll click download for Windows and this will take you to download page. So the setup file is of 76 MB. If this download button doesn't work, you can select the direct download link button. This should work. So it's installing. And I'll quickly run the setup file. So I'll accept the agreement and I'll click next next text button. So if you want to make any changes to it, you can change it from here itself. So you have to check these four options. So, so the first option adds open with VS Code which opens the folder or a directory in the VS Code. So the second option adds open with code option on the context menu of a folder or a file. And the third option and fourth option is very important. And you can also create a desktop icon from here itself. So I don't want any desktop icons. I'll click next and install. So VS Code has successfully installed. I'll click finish and this will open VS Code form. So this is the main menu of VS Code. So if you want to open a folder, you can open directly from here or else as I said you, this will add open with code option. You can directly open your VS Code from here. So now I'll use open with code option. And as you can see, my VS Code has opened in this file, in this window. So here I'll create a new folder. So if you want to create a new folder, then you have to select this button. And if you want to create a new file, then you can select this button. So for now, I'll create a new folder called Python. Then in this folder, I'll open my VS Code. So as you can see, there are no files here and here I can see my folder title. So if you want to create a new file, you can click this button and I'll give this file name main.py. So as you can see, my Python file has successfully created. If you want to run Python here, then you have to use an extension called Python. So I'll install this extension. And my Python extension is successfully installed. But if you want to run Python in your PC, you have to install a package from python.org so you can go to python and you can go to python.org website and you have to install this python setup file and run it so if you want to learn how to install this python setup file then you can visit my second video the first video of python tutorials I'll provide the video link in the description box. If you don't install this file, then you, you cannot run Python in your PC. So I have installed this file in, in my PC. So now I can run Python in VS Code. So let us try some code here such as print. So I'll zoom it a bit. print hello and I'll save the document and run the code 
and as you can see I get hello here so a python code is successfully working so if you want to if you want more features you can download python preview so this will add preview right side of your python window but I don't want this extension right now I'll install type 9 for auto completion so that type 9 such as this so I'll click install and tab 9 has successfully installed so the tab 9 is activating and our tab 9 has successfully installed so you can also visit tab 9.com for more information so this is an example of tab 9 as you can see here So I'll close this window. So if, if you cannot install extension from here, you can visit the extensions tab in VS Code. So you can visit marketplace.visualstudio.com and you can also download extensions from here. So now let us customize VS Code a bit. So first I'm going to change the icon theme. So I'm going to use material icons and I'll click install. So now as you can see our icon has changed. Then I'm going to change the color theme. So you can use any color theme here but I like normal theme of VS code. So I'm not going to use any color theme. If you want to change the color theme and file theme, you can go to file theme. So you can see all the extensions you downloaded in the .vs code folder. So you have to visit local disk C, your username, and you have to search for .vs code. Inside that, you'll get a folder called extensions. If you open that, you get all the extensions to install so I installed three extensions so one one of them is tab 9 and another of them is material icons and these files are of python extension for VS code so that's it for this video if you like this video then share the friends and don't forget to subscribe code with the engine too I'll see you in the next video until then bye bye